I'm Andrew Walker, director of the Amon Carter Museum of American Art, and I wanted to welcome you to this little gallery because it's featuring a major new acquisition that the, the museum has just recently purchased and has been conserved and cleaned. Uh, it's a major, major addition to our collection. You look at it and you might say, well, we see landscapes in the Amon Carter all the time from the 19th century in the American tradition. But what makes this particular work distinctive is that it was painted by Robert Duncanson, the first African-American to achieve professional status at a time when black Americans had very little access to the artistic art world. But it's also a terrific work of art, a work of high merit and of high artistic talent that shows a, a scene, vertical in format, of a, of a kind of a verdant valley. But as you look more closely, you see that that at, in this kind of steep, almost dangerous outcropping, there are a series of caves. And as you look even more closely, you see a series of, of uh, individuals, men and women alike, advancing up that steep incline to explore those caves. Caves in the 19th century were a tourist destination for an emerging middle class in America because they represented not only an adventure, uh, but also a physical uh, element of the landscape that represented a kind of religiosity, a kind of sacred space, uh, perhaps descending into the netherworld, and in other ways, uh, within, the, within the land itself, being wonderful, almost cathedral-like spaces uh, buried in the ground. They also had social and political reason, uh, meaning in the, in the 19th century, particularly in the years up to and throughout the Civil War, because they served as hiding places for African Americans uh, escaping to the north, often to Canada, on the Underground Railroad. Duncanson, as a black American painting in this period of time, a free black, was very aware of these issues, and in himself, during the Civil War, uh, took, his, took, his, took himself to Canada uh, as a safe haven. At this particular moment, the acquisition of Robert Duncanson's painting, The Caves, represents one moment and a great celebration that the Amon Carter is having over the summer of three centuries of African-American creativity. Duncanson in the 19th century with this remarkable landscape. And in our main galleries opening on May 18, a major exhibition of Romare Bearden, perhaps one of America's great 20th century artists, focusing on a series he did in the 1970s, retelling Homer's classic tale, The Odyssey. The exhibition is called The Black Odyssey. And finally, one of our artists from our own region, Cedric Huckabee, will be installing in our large atrium space a mural-scale work called Hidden in Plain Sight, created in 2011, and representing another take on the experience of being an African-American artist working in the contemporary art today. Thank you so much. Please come. It'll be a remarkable experience to see three centuries of African-American art here at the Amon Park. I'm Andrew Walker. I look forward to seeing you in the galleries.